What's up, crew? How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. Weren't expecting this tonight, were you? So, uh, yes. What's up, Renee? What's up, Karen? What's up, Michelle? Nadine, Penny, Travis, Tammy, Patty, Rita. How are you, Paula? How are you? Laura, what's going on? I did miss you guys. Joanne, Chuck, John and Sharon, Debbie, what's going on? So, Luis, how are you? Eric, how you doing, dude? Here's the deal. I want to just make a simple shirt. I just want to make a simple shirt and Saturday Night Live. <laughs> yep. Yes, Peggy, ears are ringing. So, what I want to do, what I want to do in the live here tonight is just go through the process. I still get a lot of different questions as far as different things on what you can do with a vinyl cutter. We got a lot of newbies going. And I also wanted to let you guys know that who here, just to get an idea, who here would be interested in a cameo giveaway on Monday. So if that does interest you at all, I'm assuming, I'm assuming it would interest most of you, right? So we, you guys got to earn it, but it's going to be pretty easy. I honestly, I think it's going to be pretty easy to earn this one. So to earn this one, this is what it's going to be. Okay. To earn this one, this is what it's going to be. It is going to be, and let me flip over to the Facebook page here and I'll show you guys. It's pretty simple for what we do, okay? So, you can see the face. Oh, by the way, you see what we got going on right now because it's back to school time. So, with back to school time, you know what that means. 60% off all recorded webinars, 25% off. We've never done this before, but it's back to school time. 25, kids are going back to school, time for you to go back to school. 25% off one-on-one -on -one live trainings, okay? So a lot of you that have been looking to do a one-on-one -on -one wizard training or whatever it is, 25% off that, all right? But, Here's the deal for Monday, okay? I just posted it on the Facebook page. Just posted on the Facebook page. So let me scroll down here and you'll see it right here. So all we need is 250 likes, comments, and shares. And then 250, 250 is the magic number. And then 250 people at the actual live on Monday night. Right? So, and we, I think we had 250 last Monday. We had 275 last Monday. So, I'm thinking this should be pretty simple for you guys. And I really want to give away the cameo. And then in the training on Monday, just to let you know, pressing 100 shirts currently, Dean. That's what I'm talking about. So, in the training on Monday, I'm actually going to be, we're going to be releasing a new font. Okay, we're going to be releasing a new font. I'm going to be using that font in designer edition software. I'm going to be cutting it on the silhouette cameo. And then we'll go through the whole training of making a vinyl car decal. Okay, so that's on Monday. But if we get 250 there, we'll also be giving away a silhouette cameo. And here's my thought. I'm going to give away the cameo during the live. And then we'll give away the mini packs from the comments and stuff. Got it? Okay, so here's the plan for tonight. Here's what my goal was for tonight. And just to let you know, of course, like always, make sure to make sure to share because as soon as even though this was completely random tonight, Saturday night, everybody's out partying, some of us are home working, right? And every hundred that we hit here live tonight, of course, we'll do a mini pack giveaway for that as well. Alright? So 
let me just go ahead and show you because this will be because I'm doing a live. We we I put this out in the train or in the webinar yesterday, but it hasn't officially been released yet because of I haven't done a live yet. So the Sports Mom Multi Deck Live Template Pack Two is out. The biggest requests we had were these cheer lacrosse soccer golf track and hockey so that's out what's up Chuck? and it's thirty dollars right now like normal after this live give it to about midnight it'll go up to 35 bucks okay trw release 65 is 65 percent off so you get them for ten dollars and fifty cents okay so all good with that and then as you can see the one we did the other night is already up to $35 but after tonight that'll be the 48 hours this will go to $45 so this is the first one got it all right so here's what we're gonna do today here's what we're gonna do today we are going to today let me pull up Corel here this file right here, okay, the bullpen file, this file is a mess. This file took a while. It took a little while to get it perfect and ready because there's a lot going on. I'm thinking about, and you guys let me know. Do you think this will be a good, I'm thinking about maybe next week doing the, the designing with Matt on something like this as far as cleaning this up and getting it for a, single color vinyl version because look at this file right here there's a ton of stuff ton of stuff going on with this right so when i move this all around look what we got going on we got a layer here 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 i mean we got layers all over the place so that's the goal and even this took me probably about 10 minutes to get it all cleaned up and perfect for a single color cut ready file okay but there were some different tricks and stuff in doing it or you could just like Todd said you could always just create a boundary around it make it a cut line and send it to the Roland Versicam to make heat transfer vinyl like this right here right that's easy enough and of course you guys know i don't even have that one on i got the brick shirt on today i probably have five of these shirts right here just in gray and black just with the brick probably my favorite shirts so let's go ahead and come over to now this is my one color version of the file now do you notice something about these this version here let me go back a few steps and show you look at this one right here and then look at this one right here do you guys notice anything big or anything different on these i'll flip them again there's the full color version and put the panther ridge back in there there's this one there's this one what's the biggest difference other than obviously a full color versus one color yeah so when i was looking at this file you guys got it you guys are all over it when i was looking at this file i'm looking at this and this right here this would be difficult with a vinyl cover right that's a lot of weaving and stuff going on a lot of different single little cuts and everything so all i did is i took the baseball i swapped it out with a simplified version of the baseball to still give it the cool look still gonna look really nice but now it's gonna be much much easier to weed it right <laughs> yeah joe was telling me about the hot air balloon um matt you've been talking a lot lacio um i'm gonna be doing some different videos and stuff on the versicam of course 
just showing some different processes and stuff. But no, that's not at all where I, I mean, honestly, we can't even sell the Versacams right now because there's too many distributors in our area right here. So we'll probably sell some of the materials. We'll probably be selling some of the materials, but as far as the actual cutters, what, I'll, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm gonna get with a couple different businesses and see kind of around the area here or wherever, who's the best, who's providing the best support. I'm gonna honestly probably go and just act like a normal person. and as far as not say, hey, this is what I do and see what kind of service I get, see what kind of callbacks I get just to test out their customer service. And then I'll probably just start recommending as far as which one I think is best for you guys. So it's really cool and I love it because it's something that took my business to the next level for sure. And it was a first big boy piece of equipment that I got because I did so much with the vinyl decals. So I figured you, a lot of you guys are starting to get to that point. A lot of you are starting to get to that point where your business is growing and you're getting to that next step. So that's where I want to be able to help you guys with that as well. Okay, so this is the design here. Now you can see the cuts in my design here. So I do like to pop through every once in a while. I've got a little area there, that's not too bad. Up here, that looks pretty good there. Everything, honestly, when I look at this file, looks all right, got a little thing there, that's not gonna be a problem at all. So I'm pretty good to probably go ahead and cut this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my design. I'm in about 8.5 by 9.4 inches wide. We're just gonna throw it on a big, uh, a large white anvil shirt and I'm gonna cut it in some, I think I have black over here. I don't, honestly, I don't know if it's black or navy blue. I think it's black, but it might be navy blue, but I don't care because it's gonna look good either way. We just hit 100 already. That's what's awesome about you guys is I don't even tell anybody that we're doing this and I just pop on and say, hey, we're going live in 10 minutes and there's 100 of you here already. So 100 of you here already, that's freaking awesome. Ding, 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 ding. We got a mini pack giveaway. So let's hit 200. Here's what I'll do tonight. You guys know I always like to play the little games, right? 100 is one giveaway. 200 is going to add two more giveaways, so we'll be at three. 300 will add three more giveaways. So we'll be at six. All right, a little late night, Saturday night live motivation. So we get to 200, we'll be at three mini pack giveaways. We get to 300, we'll be at six mini pack giveaways. Keep you on your toes. All right, so we need to go ahead and get this cut. So first thing I need to do is I need to actually set up my cutter over here and we're just gonna use some basic easy weed. So let me pull the mic over here real quick and I'm gonna get the camera over here. Give me a second. I'm gonna pull the camera right over to, or try to at least. I don't know if it's gonna work, hold on. I think we got one man down camera. Give me a second, let me see where we're at camera wise here. So production cams, we have, looks like we have one down right now. Let me go ahead and get this camera going here. So, and then we will get going with this. What's up, Alyssa? Finally made it to a live. Glad you, glad you could join us. So, get rid of that bad boy there. I'm just going to do it live on here with you guys. That's fine. Let's actually see if that camera's even hooked up. We got this one hooked up here. Give me a second. 
Got that hooked up there. And we just gotta plug it in over here. Alright, let's see if that gets us going here. So, froze me on my main screen, but I'm good on the other one. So, I gotta bring me back on the main screen real quick. Yes, that is a new pack. That is a new pack. That's the, um, that's the mom pack, volume two. And it is, yes, it's the 15% off. Or, I'm sorry, $15 off plus 65% off. Correct. Let's just make this one a little bit bigger here. There we go. Beautiful. I know, I know. Cubs struggling right now. I know. Okay. And then I know this one's going to be frozen too. We got to fix that real quick. So you guys get to see the whole process here, right? And which one was that? Let's see. There we go. There we are. We're getting this down. It's like our first time, right? And what stinks when you do that is all of them free, so you get to redo all of your scenes. So we're going to redo this one as well. And there we go. Alright. I think we're ready. So, on this page here, I'm going to highlight my design. I'm going to go to my templates. I'm going to do my vinyl overcut. So I right clicked on the vinyl overcut. Let's highlight this, and I'm going to go to Launch. I'm going to cut Plot CM4, which is Cutting Master 4. And let's get this done. Love Whedon? Nice. It really depends. I actually just pulled this design a minute ago. I wanted to cut a real small one. I'm not sure if you can see it here. I started weaving this already. This is only three and a half inches, this tiny little design. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? To, for that to be able to cut three and a half inches. So, we're good here. Let's go over to the production camera here. And let's get my questions over here so I can see all the questions you guys got coming in. There we go. We don't want to install any updates right now. Let me pull over. Yeah, there. All right. So with this, the main thing, we got our shirt over here. That camera's still good. Looks like our heat press one's good. So we got 118 here now, only 67 likes. I agree, Rita. We need to finish. We need to fix that very quickly. Okay, we need to fix that real quick. So before we go any further, before we go any further, everybody needs to click that like button. Everybody needs to click that like button before we go any further. All right. Let's get it. So loading my material. I got it all loaded in good. I'm just going to bring it up to the top here. Reset my origin at the top. So, go back to my home position there. 
and that looks pretty good. Now, for my force on this right now, okay, I have it set to run from here as far as for my force speed and everything. All right, so if I go to my condition, I want to set my force. So I'm going to go four. I'm going to set my force at, let's set it at about 11. Enter and I'm good to go. So I have my force set at 11 right now on the cutter. So flip the mic back around here real quick. And with this here, okay, for my setting, let me flip back and show you the screen here. So with this here in Corel Draw and in the um, Cutting Master software, not worried about that. I'm going to run it off of this. So if I go ahead and hit send now, it's going to start my cut over here. Okay. So like I said, I have my four set at 11 because I'm running it off of the actual cutter and I'm not sending it from here. However, what I didn't pay attention to, I'm gonna hit one to continue my job. What I didn't pay attention to on this is how much material I had back behind. So it was already sensing it was getting close to the back of the material. So that's why it just gave me that little beep right there and said, do you wanna continue your job or not? So while this is cutting, okay, I'm going to bring this camera a little bit closer so you can see it. And then I also want to, I need to fix the heat press camera here real quick because that one went down earlier too. So let me switch over to our production camera there. There you can see the cutter going, okay? And I'm going to fix the heat press cam while we're in here. Take that, take the background out, we're taking a little bit of everything out of it, right? And, see so you guys get to see tonight a little bit how OBS works as well, right? So if I want to put my main image background back in there, I do that, and then I'm just going to move it to the back there. Now I want to add my video capture device in here, and I don't know which one it is, it might be one here. Let's see. If that one's even still hooked up, I'll have to see. I was having some issues earlier with the um, cameras, obviously, as you can tell. Yep. And we are still having the issue. get to the questions. I'll see the questions in just a second here. Let me get this going. All right. So still cutting here. I see why I got this off. Let me see some questions we got. Yeah, I'm at about 9.5 inches wide. Um, I still haven't updated the CM4, Pilar. I still haven't updated it. So it's saying, do I want to continue my job? I'm going to hit one to continue job still. And my guy's frozen again here. This is crazy. I don't think we've ever had to do it this much, have we? Um, Laura, this is a graph tech cutter. 
graph tip. Okay, so one for continue job again, just to make sure. So job is done now, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this and let's start the weeding process. Now, when it comes to the weeding process, one thing I always like to do, okay, you, you see me do this a lot, is I'm gonna bring it over to the heat press here and I'm just gonna heat up my press. Let's make sure my press is at the right temperature for when we do press this. I was pressing the high five the other day, so I had it down to 250. So let's go about 300 and we're good to go. Coming down with a quick little pre-press and all that's gonna do is it's gonna heat up my material just a little bit. <laughs> what do you mean about the full hat versus the visor style? Okay, and I'll bring this close. Let me bring this camera close so you guys can see this pretty good as far as the weeding side of it. There we go. So again, this is just the Caesar Easy Weed. Caesar Easy Weed that I'm weeding here. And what I love, especially about designs like, with designs like this, check this out. So I'm gonna just start this outside area, but do any of you guys, when you're weeding something, I'm gonna just get the outside part first, so just so I can show you this. When you get to a spot like this, okay, and it just hits all of these inside areas like that, so easy. But then this one right here, check this one out. I'm gonna take this here, that's all good. And what I wanna do with this here is I'm gonna take this and go all the way. I'm just making sure I'm weeding the right stuff. Okay, there it is. As I pull this here, I love how it just kind of goes along the line. So as you pull it out, see that? So it just follows along that path throughout this whole thing. So if you pull it right, like I'm doing right here, it's almost like that whole area there was just one weed to get out all of that contour area around it. All right, good to go there. Yes, with the knockout design, I agree. I agree, Dale. So I'm gonna actually bring this light over here a little bit. It's just gonna help me see. Grab this angle here. Now, the laces, super simple. Had I not changed the baseball, that would have been obviously a lot more difficult. But because I changed the baseball, you can see how easy all of that weeded out. And then I'm just gonna start getting my inside cavity. So, here's the thing, if you're gonna do I don't know, five of these shirts, 10 of these shirts, no problem at all. But if you're doing more than that, especially for a single color design, what are you guys going to want to do? Let me know. What are you going to want to do if you're doing 15 of these single color shirts? And I'm sure you guys know, of course. You're gonna be wanting to do some 15 cent screen print transfers, right? And just knock them out. I do have, let's get that there. That looks good. Got a little area here. Yes, the transfers, I mean, you're gonna have your setup fee, but think about it. I mean, it's gonna take me, what, five minutes to weed this. And if you're doing 20 of these shirts, I mean, 20 times five. 
Simple, right? But the transfer, you're going to have your setup and design fee, but then once you have that um, transfer cost as far as the setup and design and the screens, then you're good to go from there. And then it's uh, going to be your seven second press or whatever transfers you're actually using. So I see a few of you asking which, what's kind of your magic number. For a design like this, my magic number for transfers, it, I'm going to say this has taken me five minutes to weed it. So honestly, I would probably say 10. And it, but it, where it really depends is how quickly the customer needs it. If they need it super quick, I'm going to upcharge the heck out of them. And then obviously I can just do them in some heat transfer vinyl real quick. Good to go there. Obviously I'm going to save all of that because this little bit of vinyl right here could be a couple hundred dollars for customizing hats. Yeah, 613, I'm actually getting ready to do, and I'll show you the design here just so you guys can see it. Ooh, check this out. How many of you guys have done this before when you trim around it with a pair of scissors? See that little sliver right there? See that little sliver of heat transfer vinyl right there? Had I pressed that, that right there was going on the shirt. I mean, I could have easily got it off with some vinyl remover, but happens all the time. Okay, so you can see my design there. Easy design, simple design, but still looks really nice even as a single color design like that. All right, so let's go ahead and let's move the camera over here. Let's move the mic over here a little bit. Get this on the press for you. So when it comes to lining this up, you guys know I don't like to spend a lot of time on lining my shirts up. I'm just gonna drag it up to the top there. I'm gonna say that looks pretty good there. That looks pretty good there. A little bit off the left edge, a little bit off the right edge. Drop this down for a quick little pre-press. And then we're gonna place this, okay? So I always look at the armpits, armpits right across about the, because this is basically a perfectly square design or a di diamond design, okay? I'm gonna look right at the middle. I never look at the tag. I'm splitting the edges here. But even though my design, and this is something, so my design actually goes off further on this side, okay? But what you'll notice, had a little piece of wriggly hair there, get the dog hair out of it, but a little bit further on this side. So you guys let, let me know what you would do. I want some feedback from you guys. The B goes out further than what the tail does, okay? What would you center? Would you center the sides or would you center the diamond? Let me know. Center the sides or center the diamond? I know what I would do. I want to see what you guys would do. I see diamond, 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 diamond. Good. And none of it, none of it obviously is right. I mean, it's whichever way you want to do it. I, me personally, I'm going to center the diamond here because I think that's the main focus of the design. I think if I put it over here and center it based off of the size and the sides, it's going to look off with the shirt. So that looks good there. Diamond looks good there. I'm on that left edge. Right edge looks pretty good, but I'm focused on this right here. How many of you would also do this? Let me know how many of you would fold this shirt in half. And then after you fold the shirt in half, you're going to form the line down the middle. And then you're going to press it to that line.
I know, I know some of us are going to say we would do that, right? Please don't do that. Just be good with pretty good. See, my, so this is my entire lining up process right here. This, this is my entire lining up process. I'm going to look at this. I'm going to say that looks pretty good. Boom, armpits are right there. That looks pretty good. I check the bottom and I say, I'm pretty good. Let's press it. And that's all I need is that right there. So it should take you five, 10 seconds at most to press a design like this here. Okay. So I'm at 301 degrees. That's plenty. I don't need a cover sheet. I got my carrier sheet as my cover sheet right there. Checking any weird inside cavities that I may see. And I actually see one. There's one right here. I don't know if you can see it. And you'll be able to see it after I weed it, I bet. So, I'm not sure if you can see. There's one right there that I still need to weed out. So, let me get an angle here where I can see that. And would the customer have ever seen that right there? Probably a 0% chance. Probably a 0% chance, but we would see it and it would annoy us, okay? And then even look at my L's right there. Same thing. A customer would never see that. So if you don't plan on weeding those, then I would take them out of the actual design just so you don't see the cut mark. Because here's what's going to happen. If I didn't, and I'll show you, these are just small little marks again, but if I didn't weed those two that I just grabbed right there, here's what would have happened. And where you notice it is when you make a shirt for yourself. Got one little piece on the edge here. So here's where you notice something like these. Those two and that is what I just weeded. If it cuts it and you forget to weed it, okay, the inside of the P actually doesn't have one. The inside of the P doesn't. But if it cuts it and you don't weed it, What's going to happen is as they wash it over time, it'll start to split a little bit and then they'll see the white shirt showing through and then it will look pretty bad. So either take it out of the design completely or make sure that you weed it. All right. So good there. I'm good there. And I thought I got that little piece. Let me get it again. Okay. Got it. So. Left edge, right edge, armpits, that looks pretty good. And I'm good with that. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and press. So I'm going to press this for about 10 seconds. Um, if I were pressing this on a 2X, I would press the exact same size design. I would not change the size. So peel this bad boy off here. And we are good to go. Show you a close up of it here. Check it out. And you can see it's a pretty detailed design there, right? But just your basic easy weed. But what I did is I turned that full color design into that single color design. All right, so I'm going to head back over here, grab this, and grab my mic here, and get some more questions going. All right, what do we got? Give me some questions I can answer for you guys. And then, obviously, we have a mini pack giveaway. We got to do as well. And then I'll show you what we got as far as the deal. Let me turn off the heat press real quick. I'm just going to pull this camera up because I don't want to change out. There we go. You get two angles.
Who we got here? Who we got here? I only burn one screen, not multiples for different sizes. Oh, what's up, Joe? How are you? Yes. Please, 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 guys, don't don't do that. Don't get crazy. Don't spend a lot of extra time and stuff on making multiple sizes of all of these designs. Because where it gets really difficult is when you do that, okay, as a screen printer, you're not going to do it because you're going to have to burn multiple screens for each one, obviously, right? But even doing heat transfer vinyl, you do heat transfer vinyl, and you're doing 50 shirts or 30 shirts or whatever it is, the problem is, is you, when you look at a design that's nine and a half inches and then nine inches and then eight and a half inches, you can't, you can't tell the difference. And then you're mixing them all up when you're trying to press them. So whether this design is nine and a half inches or whatever it is, right? You wouldn't know it's not going to make a big difference and if it goes on a smaller shirt like a small instead of a large it's just going to be a little bit bigger and there's nothing wrong with that i the only time i ever did another size honestly was when i was getting into like youth extra smalls and smalls to where my design would not fit on the shirt like a youth extra small where it was almost wrapped around the entire shirt. So that's the only time I wanted to make it as easy as possible, as easy as possible. And a good way to see it and where you see a big difference with something like this, and you'll see it with screen printers as well and everybody, is once you, like we just did some shirts uh, this past year for Jackson's baseball team for a tournament that they won. Well. We got the front design logo, and then we got the back with all their names and numbers and everything, okay? So when we did that, obviously we had to make 12 shirts for all the kids, but then we made four shirts for the coaches. Well, the coaches' design on the front and the back were the exact same size as the kids' designs. So the place that we did that with obviously is doing the same thing as well. Um, can you repeat the process you use to line up the design on the shirt for correct placement? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can just flip this camera over. Hold on. So, what I'm doing with that, I think it was Joy that asked. So, to line up the shirt for the placement, I'm just grabbing the corners here, okay? Drag that to the top. I check my seam on the sleeve, okay? I check this part of the seam on each sleeve to see that those are both the same amount part. Then I put my finger here. So I put my finger straight on the heat press, both of them like this, almost like make a little gun. And then I say, okay, both of those are about a finger length apart. So I know my first thing you always need to do is your shirt needs to be on somewhat straight. If your shirt's not on straight, then it's not going to work at all, right? So I say, okay, my shirt's on straight. Now when I'm putting my design on, I have my design right here. I look at the armpits. I know the armpits go right across the middle of the chest, okay? And then I look at my left edge and my right edge of the collar. I go there, I say, okay, that's good, and I press it from there, and we're good to go. All right, what else we got? Deleted her cut master. Accidentally deleted cut the CM4. Okay, so what's it doing? Help, I accidentally uninstalled Cutting Master and now I've spent the last five hours trying to get it back on Corel Draw. Trying to get it back on Corel. <clears throat> Which CM4, Juanita? Cutting Master 3 or 4. So. Are you just download? I mean, your, your biggest thing is just to download it. And then what we can do, we, let me see if we have, 
because it's it's going to be really hard to explain. Um, I've installed it, but it's not showing up in the launch. Yeah, CM4. Um, I know they were just working on that video this week, too. I'm not sure if... I'm seeing if they got it done. And if they did, I'll even... I'll even put it on um, sending cut that's sending cut files August 10th. Oh, <laughs> what are the chances? I'm looking at it, it's August 10th. I'm like, man, they put this video up today. It was August 10th, 2018. Um, reinstall it, but it's not showing up. Yeah, the biggest thing you need to do is, let me come over here. Now, Juanita, do you know if you've completely reinstalled it? You're good to go? Because you can just open Cutting Master honestly for right now and just bring in the file. Oh, sorry. You can just open Cutting Master right now and bring in the file. For now. And then... Yes, like three times. And then on Monday morning, we can just go straight into your computer and do it for you. I am I thought they had done a video, but I don't think they've actually finished it yet. Because it's obviously a question we get a lot. But it's hard for me to explain to you right here. I would have to uninstall mine and reinstall it. Yes. The wireless ones, every time I've tried a wireless, wireless mic, it sucks. Yeah, it's miserable. And then I can't put it on the camera because I normally have four different cameras running, even though only two are working tonight. Um, the vinyl cutter is a servo motor. Yes, it is. Um, you're just going to actually go into your, Juanita, just go into your bottom windows area and type in Cutting Master and then it'll open Cutting Master 4. So if you have Cutting Master installed. Yep. Um, Joe, just let me know what it is. Let me know what it is that you're doing or what you're trying to do. And it's just a matter of learning the buttons. And once you learn the buttons, you kind of learn what it's actually, what you're trying to do, basically. So the biggest thing with Corel is when you do something that Corel doesn't want to do, Corel says, I'm not doing that. And it just, it'll shut down. Yes. Should I uninstall Silhouette Connect and reinstall to get it work? Um, Silhouette Connect's not working for you at all. Yeah, Joe, just let me know what, what different issues it's actually doing it for. The problem is, is a lot of it, the wizard's trying to do so much that when it does that, it's it's trying to tell Corel to do so much, and then Corel is just like, yeah, I'm not doing all that. Yes, what are we at now? What do we got? 120 or so? It isn't showing me tonight. So, if you do get an error message, please, everybody, make sure you send the error message to us. Because that's how we see it. That's how we see it, and that's how we fix those different errors. 
Yes, please make sure to send it to us. What's up, Kelly? How are you? Um, Tammy, it really depends. For the back, name and number, I normally kind of pay attention to the shoulders. And again, you can look at the armpit even on the back side of a design. And what I'll do a lot if it's a name going across the back, I look at the armpit and then I go the bottom part of the name kind of at that armpit line. Just so it's a always the same spot depending on the size of the shirt and everything. So that should help. That should help. And it obviously depends on how large the number is and whatnot. Yep. Okay, let me actually flip back to the Corel screen here. And let me flip back to an actual screen that works here as well. Which one was it? Three? No, nope, not three. Three is dead. Let's go to five. Is that five? There we are, we're back. Okay. So, what I was talking about earlier with the giveaway and for Monday, okay, for the Silhouette Cameo training, on the Facebook page right here, make sure to like, comment, and share, and then we just need 250 people there live Monday night, which should be which should be no issue at all, okay? But we're going to pick the winner for the Silhouette Cameo 3 live during the actual training, and then we'll pick the mini packs from the likes, the comments, and the shares, depending on how many people we get, okay? Um, yes, the TRW, can you guys shoot up the TRW release? Or actually, you see it right there. TRW release 65. So that's the coupon code right there and that is for the pack that actually released yesterday 9 p.m eastern time on monday it'll start at 9 p.m and i'll be cutting on the cameo as well so this is the pack right here the sports mom pack right here this is pack two now it's 30 dollars right now it'll go up to 35 dollars probably in about an hour and then with the 65% off, this pack is $10.50 right now. Um, <laughs> are you guys coming and joining the party, Pilar? Kelly's coming to Long Beach. Design on the knife site not showing up. I person might have to keep going to my account. A wizard or explorer to be sure it's not a repeat. Um, Peggy, um, give a call so they can look with you on Monday. Give a call so they can look with you. But of course, if you ever do a repeat purchase, just let us know and they'll credit it back. So that's no problem at all. Just let us know. Even if it's two months down the road. Michelle going to be at Long Beach. Awesome. Um, any dad designs like the mom designs? I actually did in the webinar I did yesterday, I was showing how to do the different ones and then how you could just make it a dad design without the stones and just using that magic boundary tool. So very easy to just change it and throw dad there with the wizard. Tell Joe to send the hot air balloon and we'll go. <laughs> yes, um, I mentioned this the other day too. 
the trade show pre-sale equipment deals, okay? Any of you that are looking to go to any trade show the rest of this year, okay? We actually, I don't even know if they've updated it. Nope, we haven't even updated it yet. So a couple of them are gone already. We'll probably update it Monday morning. But we are going by the time that this form is actually filled out. So if someone filled it out now at 11.11 and then someone else fills it out at 11.13 and they want the Hottronics press at the Long Beach show for next week, we'll call the person that submitted it first. If they pass on it, then we'll call the next person in line. So I know Joe started going through some of the different requests from the live a few days ago. But trade show equipment, by far the best deals on the equipment with, we aren't even allowed to list what the deal is because of map pricing. So once you fill out the information, we'll give you a call, we'll let you know what the action, but it's a discount off the price. Obviously you take it home with you from the show and you um, get some artwork and stuff like that with it too. So by far the best deal to show. So basically the first person, as soon as they call and they say, I want this, they purchase it, we bring it to the show. It's a brand new cutter, same warranty, brand new heat press, same warranty. You leave with it the last day of the show. Um, this may be a silly question, but what programs work with your downloadable designs? Uh, not a silly question at all, Catherine. So it really depends on the design, okay? So like this pack right here technically does this pack technically does work with any artwork or any software. The only thing that's different is where it says hockey right there. You would just have to type a different word because the mom, the rhinestones, all of that part, the hockey player, all of that part's done already. So you can use the sports mom live templates in any software because you get an SVG version of it as well. Oh, Joe, make it happen. All right, you guys ready to pick a mini pack winner? Let's do this. I told you I would only be about an hour and we're only two minutes away, which there's zero chance of me getting off in two minutes from a live. Normally when I say I'm getting ready to sign off, it's 30 minutes after that, right? But let's go ahead and pick our mini pack winner and then we will talk about signing off. Um, Dean's having trouble with the image not showing up in CM4. His rhinestone one is there, but not the remaining cuts of the different colors. It's probably because not selecting it all. Like whenever I cut in CM4, I don't highlight everything. I don't bring everything in because you're not going to cut it all at the same time. So I only highlight what I want to bring in to CM4. All right, let me go ahead and bring this in here and let's go ahead and pick our mini pack winner. So, mini pack winner of choice for tonight. I'm going to scroll through wherever I stop. That person will be the mini pack winner of the night. And then I, I had a couple questions. I saw those questions. Don't worry. I saw the questions as far as the equipment stuff. I'll show you. I'll show you right after I do the giveaway for anybody that needs to get going. All right. So scrolling through, pick the mini pack winner in five, four, three, two. It's whoever's the top name that's highlighted one and this person wins. Michelle, Michelle Walsh, Mich Michelle Walsh, congratulations, Michelle. <laughs> Todd, so close. Grant, so close. Pilar, so close. Taking a picture of your name, Michelle, so I can get it to the call center. Michelle, congratulations. Mini pack of choice is yours. Thanks for coming. All right, so the question I saw as far as the equipment, 
Someone was saying, do you offer deals on the equipment? So what I was talking about with the deals, those are the trade show deals. So anytime it's a floor model, we're allowed to discount the actual equipment and where we can do other stuff where we add artwork packs, things like that. With our equipment on the website, we do still have deals with the equipment on the website, even if you're not going to a trade show. So the biggest thing with the equipment on the website is you actually, and I'll go to it here for you. If I go to um, the Graph Tech, and here's the Graph Tech Vinyl Cutter. So, with our Graph Tech Vinyl Cutter, you actually get five mini packs of choice. So, you honestly click on there, you get to scroll through the 150 mini packs that we have. And that's where you're going to be able to knock it out and get five different mini packs. So, basically, you're getting designs with your cutter as well, but five mini packs. Same thing with your heat presses. So that's what we do is for some places we'll add like vinyl or different things. I'm not a big fan of adding vinyl because you never know what vinyl most places will say we'll give you a five yard roll of easy weed white or we'll give you a five yard roll of this. We do the artwork because that's something that can kind of take your business and make it unique with the artwork of your choice and then you can get the vinyl from wherever but it's actually going to be the vinyl colors that you want instead of just a random vinyl what else we got um when do you pay for the show deals now or near the show date um peggy which show are you looking at it depends. So what we also do is we can also do for upcoming shows, we can do a deposit. So if it's one that's pretty far in advance and one of our usual suspects like you, Peggy, then we just do a small deposit just to kind of lock it up. And then as it gets closer to the show, what's up, Betty? How are you? Joe would prefer small bills. All right. So remember, make sure to go to, make sure to go to the Facebook page. Like, comment, and share. Set your reminder for Monday. Okay. Um, have you put a team name like Wildcats above the cheer? Above the cheer design? Is that what you're asking for, Tammy? Yeah, on that new pack, it's simple. You just type Wildcats. Yeah, it's a live template. How long is Hotfix Tape on back order? Is Hotfix Tape on back order? It shouldn't be. Is it? Um, Michelle, so to ask about purchasing the equipment at the show, see right here in the top right corner of the website, trade show pre-sale. You're going to click right there and fill out your information and then whatever show you're going to and then what you're interested in, whether it's the Graph Tech or the Hotronics or the cat press or whichever it is and then it would probably be joe would be giving you a call probably monday yep i'm looking at the hot fix tape real quick right here just to see so okay it's saying did it let you order it I'll have to see. I'll message, uh, hey Joe, is Ryan there? Or Joe, are you with Ryan? 
Does he know? Do you know if uh, Hot Fix tapes on back order? Look at you guys. You might get answers right now. Let's see if Joe's with Ryan. I didn't place the order because I was wondering how long it was going to be. Okay. Oh, he went to Tampa tonight. Okay. Um, let me go to the 12 inch. That same 12 inches on back order as well. Okay, Travis. Because of the Caesar color chart, Travis, were you was someone looking to get that? Was is that what somebody was saying? Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this to get it to him. Okay, Pilar, let me know. You guys know I'm always looking for ideas. Make it easier on you guys. Actually, just to let you know, as far as the, the new font, Eric, is going to be Monday night. We got a new font coming out Monday night, and that's what I'm going to be using to make the decal as well. I'm going to be finishing it up uh, this weekend. We're looking at it, and it said to pick something different besides a color chart that is not selectable. Travis. Shoot me a uh, Facebook Messenger, like a um, or Instagram DM. Shoot me a message through Facebook. Let me know what you're looking at, Travis, and um, I'll see what's going on and get it fixed. Yeah. Sweet. Is that the font I keep asking about? Which font do you keep asking about, Peggy? I'm not sure which one. Let me know. Um, the font's a new one. I haven't, I haven't shown. The font that we're releasing on Monday is a new one. I haven't shown it all. So I'm assuming it's probably not. Jabber, have a good night. It just said the 2018 chart that comes with it's unavailable. We'll send a message. Okay. You got it, Travis. Sweet. All right, crew. You guys all have an amazing night. I will be back on Monday and Monday night at 9 p.m. I'll pop on live from the warehouse as well to make sure that you guys know about Monday night. And then hopefully we'll be doing a cameo giveaway. Hopefully we'll be doing a cameo giveaway on Monday. All right. So 250 there, but make sure to go get your likes, get your comments, get your shares on the Facebook page, show up Monday night, cameo training will be good to go. All right. And then the mini pack of this one here, the sports mom mini pack two. this one will go to $35 here in about 30 minutes. Okay. Right now with the TRW release, was the TRW release 65 working right now? I saw somebody say it wasn't. Can someone confirm that it is good? And let me actually try and add it to the cart here for you real quick too, just to see. All right, item is in cart. Yep, it's working. 
So you see it just brought this pack from 45 down to 30 with the $15 discount and then down to $10.50 with the TRW Relief 65. So it should be working, Jenny. Just make sure you don't have anything typed in down there. Remove any other coupons that are going on. Sweet daddy. All right, crew. You guys all have an amazing night. Thanks for coming out and hanging with me. Saturday Night Live. But if you guys have any questions, shoot a message on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever you want. I will be back on Monday as well. And I'll be going live. I'll be going live from the warehouse on Monday during the day probably. And any questions you got there. All right, crew. Have an amazing night. You guys know I always say later on these lives and then I hang out and then you laugh at me. So it's all good, but you guys have an amazing weekend. Later.